Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mountain Valley Farm. Welcome back to the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel. And this is Mountain Valley Farm episode number five. And we're back in the same game day that we were in for episode number four. And my apologies because I realized that we pretty much did fertilization and cultivation um, in episode number four. But I still need to get this done on this field. I'm not sure why this uh, why this grass growth um, is here in the middle of this field. I plowed this uh, earlier and I even went back over this area with the plow a second time just to make sure. So I don't know if it's something that's in the map itself would be my guess. Um, so uh, we're just going to have to uh, we're just going to have to live with it, I suppose. I don't know what else to really do. I don't want to put the map in Giants Editor after we've already sort of gotten started with it, and uh, especially have the Seasons mod in it because I don't know if you noticed this, uh, and I certainly didn't catch it initially. Uh, I had to go back and review tape, if you will. Um, but in between episode number three and episode number four. So episodes 0 through 3, so 0, 1, 2, and 3 were all done basically in the first game day. Uh, episode 0 actually being just a introductory episode, that was actually done in a different uh, version of this map before I had um, did some of the edits and everything, if you remember. But anyway, episodes 1, 2, and 3 were all done on the first game day of spring. So we're now in the second game day of early spring. So remember, we're playing six game days per season. Well, I had to go back and look at the tape because I was looking um, sort of after I had finished recording episode number four, which was the first episode of this new game day. I was looking at the soil temperature and I'm like, I could have sworn the soil temperature was actually warmer than what it is showing now. It's showing 36 degrees soil temperature. Um, and lo and behold, when I went back and looked at the tape, I looked at the other episode, the older episode, I realized that, uh, yep, that was the case. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a headland around here just to kind of make it a little bit easier with these trees. So anyway, um, I need to get this work done and I just sort of thought well you know I'm going to be my sort of approach with Mountain Valley Farm is to really take things a little bit slower than what I have been doing in the past I'm sort of almost sort of grabbing a slower gear if you will in my life I'm trying to do some other things other than just crank out um, gaming episodes and um, I've got other things that I've talked to you all about um, that's going on in my life. I'm still busy at work. Uh, my, my wife is, uh, while she's improving, she's still not 100% and that's requiring a little bit of extra, uh, you know, effort on my part and such and just, you know, my obligations uh, to do what I need to do because that stuff, that stuff comes first and I know that you know, if you are all uh, very much like me, um, then you know that um, you, I, and I'm sure that you feel the same way. I'm sure there's some of you, uh, I've seen how some people behave you know, on other people's channels and how they start getting a bit snippy, a bit upset and such because somebody will not release a video on a day that they normally release a video or maybe they don't release a video for three or four days or maybe even a week or maybe even two weeks goes by and you know it's just stuff happens and and I know that you know I'm preaching to the choir when I when I say all this and I know that you guys are being very supportive and I truly truly appreciate it uh, I really really do um, but so I'm kind of slowing things down a little bit. I'm spending time doing other stuff. I'm spending time playing other other games that I very much enjoy. And um, one of these days, very soon, I will bring Flight Sim to the channel uh, more than what you've seen it um, so far. And um, I'm just kind of waiting on a few other things uh, today. Uh, today is Saturday, the 10th 
uh, of June. I'm recording this episode. Um, the PMDG 777 was released for P3D version 4 for the 64-bit version. So uh, took a couple of flights in it, and boy, I mean, it, it flies like a dream, especially with the with the 64-bit uh, flight sim. So we'll get some um, stuff in that. The, the 747 is kind of new to me. Um, so I've been kind of learning that, needing to sort of relearn it almost because it had been oh a number of years since I had flown the older version of the PMDG uh, 747. And so, anyway, getting we'll we'll get around to that, I promise. Um, and we'll do some general aviation stuff and um, more of the sceneries and stuff are getting released to. Uh, to the 64-bit version, you know, I just need to kind of keep telling myself and reminding myself that, you know, this new version of Prepared has only been out for uh, about two and a half weeks now, and, you know, it just, it takes time for these add-ons and stuff to make its way. It's, it's very similar to what we all experienced in the very early days of Farm Sim 17, and while it's a little bit different because we are sort of talking more about payware, uh, here on the flight sim side of things than we are necessarily with farm sim um, but still it just it takes time for these developers to sort of bring their bring their wares to the new platform and it's fairly significant just like uh, sort of the difference between farm sim 15 and 17 there's a significant change and it just takes time for this stuff to sort itself out um, so anyway I am slowing things down and so therefore um, you know, while I've done a lot of this stuff off camera, I've taken out uh, these trees, uh, the majority of them off camera and everything. I'm going to bring probably more of the actual day-to-day -day farming stuff uh, here on uh, in the episode. So if we, for example, don't get completed with a uh, with a task um, in a specific episode, uh, most likely I may. Um, unless it's just a little bit that's left to be done, I may actually stop, you know, and we'll keep the episodes short like we've been doing, but I will continue it maybe in the next episode. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, so um, the big news of this weekend obviously was the um, uh, early access of cattle and crops did finally make its way uh, to us. Now, from what I understand, this uh, version of cattle and crops is sort of a, just sort of a test um, scenario. It's not the. I don't think it's the full. I don't think it's the full early access piece that we've been expecting uh, to be released for such a long period of time. And I've got to say, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna be honest with you all. Okay, um, I could. Uh, I could uh, I could take the stance of either just not talking about it or I could take the stance of just being overly positive and maybe downright lie to you and I'm not going to do that I'm not that's not that's not the, the character of person that I am um, I am trying to keep in my mind in the back of my mind that cattle and crops and what we were given access to is early access, it's beta, it's maybe, and this is maybe even somewhat alpha because again I think that I think we're going to get more content in another week or two or three. But I downloaded it and well first of all let me back up so I received an email that basically said that um, on Friday I would be getting another email that would be providing me information on how to download this, uh, this sort of sneak peek of the early access. Um, that second email never came. Now I'm not going to fault cattle and crops for that because, you know, electronic media gets hung up in spam folders although I did check my spam folder I didn't see it um, things happen and I don't think that there is any sort of um, malicious um, reasoning for that on their part so I 
went out to the website and I saw where I could go ahead and download the installer and then authenticate myself and pending that I had a true account which I did uh, obviously I was able the installer was was successful in downloading the files that it needed to be able to to build the uh, uh, the install package and it installed and it launched and everything was everything looked fine from that point now I had um, heard some things I had read some things in in some forums I even um, read some stuff on PCSG uh, I believe that farmer Klein uh, our good friend farmer Klein had had some issues with uh, maybe Nvidia drivers or something like that I guess my Nvidia drivers are all either they're either current or whatever version of driver I'm running which I don't think my drivers are the latest and greatest and I sort of never run the latest and greatest uh, video drivers just I've learned I've been burned too many times and having to actually actually uh, fall back to the older version so I do tend to let things mature just a little bit before I take them anyway long story short um, everything worked fine the game the game loaded up um, I initially sort of just went in and I wanted to set up my controllers because that's what I that's what I wanted to do I don't want to play um, Catalan crops I don't want to play farm sim 17 I don't want to play you know p3d I don't want to play truck sim or any of these games with a keyboard and mouse I mean the only the only game that I play on a regular basis with keyboard and mouse is um, is car mechanic simulator and you know that's fine that's you know there's no there's no dry I don't do I don't do the the driving stuff with uh, uh, with car mechanic simulator I never really got into the test driving stuff um, you know my opinion is if you want to race a car get a get a car racing game uh, if you want to if you want to have a simulator that simulates repairing of vehicles then do that and don't don't necessarily enter intermix the uh, the two you know the two different things but anyway that's that's a different that's a different topic for a different uh, conversation so um, I think I have shared my my thoughts and my uh, expectations on this channel uh, with regards to Catalan crops and how that I was you know hoping that basically um, there would be a pretty outstanding um, wheel support controller support within Catalan crops because quite honestly and I've said this on this channel that I felt that that is one area that giants could work on much 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 better and put better controller support into farm sim um, you know ATS and ETS2 it just works you know I, I, I installed ATS when it came out what a year and a half or so ago and um, and it just works you know it works with my with my Logitech G27 it works with my pedals um, with even with farm sim with as as maybe difficult as I have sometimes found in getting controllers and everything to work uh, some of that is maybe my own um, my own fault because I've got other things plugged into my computer I've got I've got um, about a dozen hardware modules that I use for flight sim, um, and I don't want to have to unplug everything when I transition from playing farm sim over to um, to flight sim or to truck sim or to anything like that. I want everything to be, you know, I want to, I want to leave everything connected. I would actually like it very much if these games would actually allow you to sort of select an option where it would just simply ignore a controller by name so example um, I've got the um, um, I've got the CH products flight yoke for my flight sim stuff I would love to just be able to go in and just basically flag a checkbox because obviously uh, farm sim truck sim it recognizes these devices as controllers and just be able to say you know just ignore it just ignore this uh, uh, this controller but anyway that's that's a different story for a different uh, for a different topic as well anyway um, so I went to basically set up my controllers 
in cattle and crops and did not find it very intuitive at all. As a matter of fact, um, I got fairly frustrated um, with it, but I will also admit that I was trying to, you know, I was trying to maybe work on it a little bit before I had had my uh, full cups of coffee that I normally consume on a Saturday morning. And um, I just couldn't get it to work. And I don't, you know, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really necessarily understand why, but it just, it just wasn't working. So, um, so I basically gave up. I'm like, you know, um, I realized that this is, you know, alpha, that this is um, somewhat, you know, beta, obviously, early access. I know what all of that means. My gosh, I have talked about cattle and crops. I've been excited about it. I'm still excited about it. I still believe that, um, that cattle and crops is going to be a fantastic, a fantastic simulation-based farming agricultural-based sim. I really, I really, really do believe that. Um, but I also will just say that I think that it's, it's got a lot of work and I am just sort of, you know, I think I'm just disappointed because while I think the only thing that this, this initial, uh, release was going to allow us to do was essentially just do some cultivation and, and, and that's fine. I, I sort of get that. You know that they're that they're kind of making that they're kind of making baby steps um, with with this game, and obviously you know they had some reason to delay it as long as they actually did, and certainly they're wanting to come out and be you know get out on the right foot and everything, and I can appreciate that uh, very much. I do, but um, I just think that controller support that. That's got to be, that's got to be much much easier. And I, I don't know anything about coding video games, folks. I, uh, I'm a hardware guy. I'm an old hardware guy, um, and um, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. But I would think that it would be much much easier. It should be much much easier to code, um, to code some controller support for an application than it would be to um, than it would be to actually program all the other stuff that they've got to program as far as you know the game I don't know I could be wrong I could be completely utterly wrong um, as I said I don't really know the first thing about this stuff and um, I know it shows and so all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and take this thing downtown, and if we can keep it on the trailer long enough to get us down there, we are done uh, with forestry work. Well, we're done cutting trees. Let's just put it that way. Um, I think that we are probably going to do the right thing, and the right thing being we're probably going to replant these trees. Uh, well, we replant some of them. I don't think I'm going to replant 300 and something trees but we will replant a portion of these trees uh, just to sort of do our part for um, the um, environment and such as that because obviously we've taken a lot of trees out so we will we will do that um, and we will do that you know as and when we have time to do it I'm not not going to be worried about doing that but um, anyway so with regards to cattle and crops, I'm still excited about it, but I, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm going to use the word disappointed because that is a fair, um, that is a fair description of how I feel. Um, I feel disappointed. I feel like that, that they had an opportunity to sort of blow everybody's socks off. And I understand that that most everyone is really keen on all the agricultural stuff that they have sort of been promising with the game and that's all important but you know so many of us that really take 
the simulation based gameplay to the next level we want the immersion we want the realism and such we all have controllers of some kind we have the G27s or the G29s or some other some other brand other than Logitech and it just um, you know and I, again I will admit that you know I needed another cup of coffee and it's possible that with a clear head you know I will go back at it again and it might make better sense the next time I, I approach it um, and if I can you know if I can do that and if I can sort of figure out sort of the error of my ways you can bet that I will put together a video and and uh, and showcase that but right now I think it's just really about cultivation that's the only thing that we can do in the game and well I just spent about 15 minutes cultivating um, that field here in Farm Sim 17 and so we will see we will just have to see what happens and what transpires over the next uh, few weeks but I don't feel you know initially I was sort of concerned that would I have enough time to give cattle and crops a good review a good uh, a good impression here on this channel because obviously I talked about using cattle and crops here on the channel promising guaranteeing that you guys would would see gameplay from from that game once it came out and of course it didn't come out in March it didn't come out in April uh, it didn't come out in May so you know it's 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 several months late but what we have now the version that we have now is is pretty scaled down from what I think we were expecting from early access but keep in mind and remember I you know, I don't want to have to go and and um, and pull the pull the recordings but I have said that I was well aware that what we would be getting for early access would be somewhat of a scaled um, scaled down version in other words there would we wouldn't be doing able to do everything that the game intends for us to be able to do when it's at the full-blown release but I really did not expect that it would just be limited to uh, cultivation so uh, but again baby steps but I am just really disappointed with the controller support I really think that they had an opportunity to um, uh, to really knock it out of the park if you will because um, you know they should they should know these are supposed to be um, the whole point of this is it's supposed to be uh, farm sim enthusiasts gamers uh, a game that's you know made by and for gamers and um, and I would think that these guys would have so somewhat struggled with the lack of controller support that we've had in um, in Farm Sim 17, and that they would have basically just completely knocked it out of the park and um, and given us something that would make us all very 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 proud. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe uh, you know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just um, not seeing the bigger picture maybe I am just needing to take a deep breath and say you know um, there's always next week there's always next month you know and maybe I'm just being a little bit premature in what my requests are what my asks are and I'll also admit that I've not really taken the time to go out and look at the um, uh, look at their forums to see if anyone else has posed these questions or if if there's any if there's any other feedback and I will be doing that that is something that I will definitely uh, be uh, be doing is going out and reading the information in the forums and of course talking to some of my friends that I know uh, have the early access uh, release games so you know I don't know um, Farmer Klein um, let's see I know farmer client has I believe he has a wheel um, I know Eustace farmer has a wheel set up he's got the exact same one I have uh, reefy 1952 has a wheel um, I think doughboy has a wheel um, I know rubber burner um, live streamed I believe he live streamed I missed it I was still at work but I saw an email 
that he live streamed um, some of the cattle and crop stuff. I know that that he finally got his G29 working uh, for the most part, I think. Um, so, um, you know, rubber burner, that might be a good opportunity for you. Uh, if you could document what you did and create a video, if you haven't already, I'm sure you, you probably have, or you're probably thinking about it anyways. So, um, so yeah, so that's just, um, that's just where we are with regards to cattle and crops. Now, um, I can't honestly remember if I finished my thought on this whole uh, soil temperature thing. Um, I do kind of sometimes get sidetracked and I start thinking about something else that I want to say and then realize that I still um, hadn't finished a complete thought. Um, I really don't know what happened, uh, to be honest. I put the Seasons mod in just like I've put the Seasons mod into other maps that I've played. I did it right at the time that I launched um, the map uh, from the very beginning. So in other words, I didn't... Um, I didn't play any of this map without the Seasons mod, but I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe it just had a small glitch. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that soil temperatures would actually go lower in spring than what they were in um, in winter. I don't know, but we'll just uh, we'll just see. So let me just kind of fill you in here. Um, obviously, I went ahead and defined this field, so we have now. Uh, one, two, three, we have four fields. Uh, we have four fields on the map. That's what we're going to play with. Uh, all the fields are up, up on top here as I refer to it. Sort of the plateau, the little the mountain or the hill or whatever. We've got all of our four fields. I have not decided what we're going to plant. I think a lot of it depends on um, how long it takes the soil temperature to come up. Obviously, um, we need 41 degrees for a minimum temperature. Uh, to be able to plant um, anything other than grass, and I'm not going to plant grass. So we're probably going to do stick with our core, our core crops, our legacy crops of wheat, barley, canola, and maybe a sunflower, maybe a soybean. If we could, um, uh, if we could, if we, if our soil temp soil temperatures come up at the right time, so that we could get those uh, those seeds in the ground. So. Um, everything has been plowed, everything has been fertilized, and then everything has been cultivated. So we've got one time, if we switch over here and if we look at our, our growth, um, everything that we've got, now we don't own these two fields, um, those are the two fields that are on the map, but they're owned by somebody else. So everything is, um, that we own is cultivated and everything that we own is fertilized to the first level. So my initial plan would be that by the time that we come back from for episode number uh, six, I will have figured out what type of cedar we're going to buy, and we'll probably have that here on the farm. We'll probably move down uh, some of this other logging equipment, um, the... Um, um, the skitter over there and the wheel loader will move those things down to the store and they're basically going to look for buyers for us uh, for those pieces of equipment so we'll be uh, bringing that um, that in that in, that extra income in that'll come in um, very handy we are going to need to buy some more hay and some straw because we've got our 30 head of cattle um, and so let's just kind of look at those guys uh, really quick and see if they've produced any. Nope, still at 30 head. Uh, we need grass. We need grass uh, pretty bad, but we don't have any to cut. Now, one of the things that um, down below, down below the mountain alongside the road, uh, there are several fields that we have access to that we can mow. And so we'll most likely be looking at getting mowers and everything uh, the next episode as well. We'll probably get our cedars. Uh, the mowers may go ahead and get the sprayer because I think what we're going to do is um, um, so we will. I don't know if we're going to get a cedar that fertilizes at the same time or if we will just come in 
and fertilize after we've seeded or maybe before we seed um, to get that second level of fertilization and then most likely we'll spray to get the third level of fertilization uh, but we need to go ahead and get our mowers we need to get um, our equipment like our tether, our rake, our baler, uh, those kind of things. And I am looking at the mods that came from the mod contest. And unfortunately, I was hoping that that, coon, that big coon baler might come out, the one that we had in 15 that wraps and bells at the same time, does the round bells. Um, but not sure. I think, it's, um, I think it's still actively being worked on. I saw a Facebook post Oh, our wheels are off the ground there. I saw a Facebook post um, that it is coming along, but um, it's not available just yet. So we'll figure it all out. We'll we'll have some fun. Is this trailer floating? I think this trailer is actually floating in the air. Uh, somebody must have put some helium uh, in those tires. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week. And, you know, if you have cattle and crops, if you got the early access to it, and if I'm just being uh, a bit thick um, with my whole thinking and idea with regards to the controller support and stuff, um, if there's any tips that you want to share with me, if I haven't already figured it out, then I'll certainly, um, I'll certainly appreciate that, you dropping me, uh, dropping me a hint and setting, my, setting the record straight with me. But... Um, in any event, we'll get through it and figure it all out, or maybe maybe they'll do something that will um, that'll fix it all up for us. I don't know, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We're just going to drive the the gator over towards the house. I think it's probably time for lunch and see what uh, see what the missus has uh, prepared for us. Who knows? Maybe she'll throw a loaf of bread and. A, slab a bologna down on the table and say fix it yourself uh, Jerry um, in any way thank you all so much for watching have a wonderful wonderful day have a wonderful week a wonderful weekend uh, hope you're enjoying the summer it has finally warmed up here in Colorado I'll tell you it was 90 uh, almost 95 degrees today take care and God bless you all bye bye